Maria Nera. Uh, what what do we sort of know right now about the relationship between exposure to air pollution and COVID nineteen? Thank you very much. Uh, yes, we, there have been several articles, several papers published about that. And uh, as you well know, air pollution is re the responsible for killing more than 7 million every year. Therefore, what we know for sure is that any intervention you can do now to reduce air pollution, to reduce exposure to air pollution, will have a very beneficial effect on anyone at risk for COVID-19. What we know as well that uh, uh, exposure to air pollution is a, is a risk factor and uh, will make you more susceptible to be, uh, if you are uh, affected, uh, infected by uh, SARS-CoV-2, you will be more susceptible to develop uh, uh, morbidity and mortality because those diseases that are caused as well by exposure to air, this, uh, air pollution will be made more vulnerable. So it will increase your risk and your susceptibility. Therefore, we don't know about the correlation, the, the, the real correlation between mortality of COVID and exposure to air pollution, but we know for sure that it's an important risk factor that we need to tackle. Thank you. No. Sorry, if I, if I could just supplement specifically on the underlying conditions that you mentioned, uh, Maria Nera, the, we know um, for certain in the research that is being done that people with underlying conditions such as underlying respiratory diseases, underlying heart diseases, uh, put them at an increased risk. If you are infected with SARS-CoV-2, you are at an increased risk for severe disease and death. And air pollution causes these chronic conditions. And so it is really, there's a clear correlation here. And we just want to be very clear that those with underlying conditions are at, at an increased risk for severe disease and death. Um, so again, I will say it's really important that we try to prevent as many infections as we can, especially in vulnerable people who have these underlying conditions, some of which are caused by air pollution, because those individuals can be very severely ill and they can die. Thank you very much, Dr. Nera and Dr. Van Kerkhove. Uh, the next question goes.